On today's podcast, we're going to be answering the question, what is Six Sigma? So stay tuned. Welcome to Warehouse Safety Tips. If you're a seasoned vodcast viewer, this vodcast is going to be different from most that you watch. It's based around exactly what the name implies, Warehouse Safety Tips. And since the people in this industry are busy, we know that time is money, so each episode will be as short and to the point as possible. And now, with all that out of the way, let's get to the vodcast. On today's podcast, we're going to be answering the question, what is Six Sigma? With all of our podcasts, we try to keep things very short and to the point for time purposes. We provide a general and high-level look at the topics at hand, but almost all of our topics can and should be looked into much deeper. Six Sigma was put into action by Motorola engineer Bill Smith in 1986. Its purpose was to produce products with little to no defects. This would be accomplished by identifying and removing as many of the manufacturing and business processes that could be responsible for errors and defects as possible. Now, unlike the 5S methodology that we cover on this podcast, Six Sigma doesn't have six parts or steps. Instead, the six of Six Sigma refers to the six standard deviations, and that goes plus and minus both ways. The standard ranking of Six Sigma is similar to that of colored belts in martial arts. The progression starts with white and is followed by yellow, green, and black. Six Sigma not only improves quality, but also culture and mindset for facilities to strive for. When implemented effectively, it should also reduce cost and improve customer satisfaction. We look forward to seeing you next week for another Warehouse Safety Tips. Until then, have a great week and stay safe. Before moving on, here's a word from one of our sponsors. If you've ever been to or worked in a warehouse, you know just how important safety is to both management and staff. It's almost impossible to go 10 steps without seeing safety tape, angles, signs, and or safety products. It's these items that show us how to be safe and avoid danger in the workplace. And if you're looking for the best products to make this happen, look no further than Mighty Line. Mighty Line floor signs and floor markings offer the best industrial products out there. We're proud to have Mighty Line as the official floor sign and floor marking company for the Warehouse Safety Tips podcast and site. Go to MightyLineTape.com forward slash safety tips to request a sample pack of their incredible safety signs and floor markings. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Warehouse Safety Tips. If you visit WarehouseSafetyTips.com, you'll find the show notes for this episode and access to all of our blog posts, previous podcasts, advertiser information, and much more. Thank you for listening to Warehouse Safety Tips and have a safe day.